high noon. Hi, noon. I am Julie Hasowitz with Remax Suburban. And I'm Jeannie Gorey, neighborhood loan, still money in the middle. Always in the middle. Always in the middle. Jamie Safransky, Remax Suburban. And today we are joined by Phyllis with Town Center Insurance. Hi. And we're going to be talking about insurance today. And my first question to you is what's the difference between market value versus replacement cost on a home? Market value is the value of the home that you purchase it at. Okay. And replacement cost is what it costs to insure the home from the ground up if it's ever destroyed in a fire. Um, so you want to make sure that you have it insured at replacement cost at all times. And what, what's the, what, what's the difference? Why would it yeah. be a difference? Why is there a difference between market value and replacement cost? I mean, because replacement cost is, is <laughs> with the contractors, their right. pricing and everything changes oh, every year. Sure. Right. Uh, so as their okay. prices go up, it costs costs. How much is the cement this year? Right. You know? Plus, right. it doesn't right. include the land. It doesn't include the land. It doesn't include the right. land because right. your land is not insuring your land. Right. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and one of the questions that I have um, is about sump pump and backup sewer versus flood insurance, and are they always included, and how that works? Neither one of those are included in your policies. Okay. okay. Flood insurance is a separate policy that you need to purchase if you're okay. in a floodplain. Uh, backup of sewer and sump pump coverage is per purchased by an endorsement, and that covers you if water comes up through the basement through the back of the sewer. So if your electric goes out and your sump mm -hmm. pump fails, are you then covered if you purchase this? You would still be covered, okay. yes. Or if your okay. sump pump dies. Yes. Which is yes. what happened or to us. Completely and completely dies. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so now we can bring it around to my, so our third point here is, um, should we still do, I was told years ago, go around and videotape everything in my home, um, like my curtains, like everything, and, and then maybe take pictures of my expensive stuff that I don't have. I remember. Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but that is important, and they still want, want you to do that, and okay. the one thing I would always suggest is take that and you put it off the premises, so put it in a safety deposit box or anything yeah. like that, and just always keep in mind that if you have anything worth value, you do need to actually schedule that onto your insurance policy, so that way it's covered if anything happens to it at the time of a loss as well. Or so have a separate rider. Yeah, have a separate it. rider. Okay. So it would be like your jewelry, your furs, your coins, anything like that. Expensive rugs. Like rugs. Rugs. But really yeah. expensive so, rugs. So let's yeah. say I need to replace my TVs. Now that TVs aren't that expensive anymore, but some people right. buy really expensive ones. Yeah. Is it just you replace it? The insurance company pays to replace that TV? Is it the same it, brand yes. or is it something similar? It's the same brand. Okay. Um, and because the cost of TVs are so easy to replace yeah. now, yeah. they usually don't question anything like that because they're, okay. they're going to know that anybody in a home has at least one TV. Sure. So they're okay. going to have to know that you need to replace that. Right. So certain things mm -hmm. like that, they may not take into consideration, but other things of higher value, they will. So okay. every time you get something new, like new appliances, choop, 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 take pictures. Take pictures. Yeah. And on your cell phone, everything. yeah, and on your cell phone, you can take a video and keep it in the cloud. Yes, that's what so I Then you don't have to worry about yeah. taking it to you could, you could email the video to a relative or a friend that obviously doesn't live in your home, and they're storing, they can store it on their computer or on their drive. Okay, so now I'm going to throw another yeah. question that since we have a few minutes here yeah. left um, that someone had asked me about what's the difference between homeowner's insurance and on a, on a single family home versus a condo or a townhome? Oh, yeah, that's a great question. Okay, so a condo insurance basically is from the walls in policy that is required by um, the mortgage company for you to carry. And a homeowner's policy, you're insuring the structure, the roof, the basement by endorsement on the back of the sewer and sump yeah. pump coverage. Um, and you're insuring your personal property. And, and on a condo, the association actually covers the outside structure, yeah. the dwelling, Most and the walls. The sidewalks, yeah. the, yeah. the Well, the and roof, you're going to, you know, like what they cover, that's in the homeowner's the association, the association yeah. policy. Right? But you insurance. still, shouldn't you have something, if you have a condo, do you still have, to have something that, for liability, it's called liability, right? If yeah. you, if you yeah. flood the entire building, it's on you if you don't have Insurance All your policies should carry liability coverage. Yeah. Okay, and it's, okay. it's relatively cheap. Usually, a hundred thousand is no additional premium. If you do oh. um, three hundred thousand, it's usually ten dollars, and if you do five hundred thousand, it's anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars oh, a year. Oh, yeah, that's, that's nothing. That's nothing. Yeah, that's to nothing. Cover so you get it. All right. Well, thank you yeah, so much for joining us.